give it up for equanimity. Something. And I'm like, I'm 
never thought about that. <laughs> you know? What? <laughs> Hey, baby. I love you. Yeah. You think I'm fat? Yeah. <laughs> hey, baby. There's nothing you can do about it. Come on. <laughs> I deeply admire you. Yeah. You think I'm gracious? Hey, baby. Come on. I wish you wouldn't dress like a horse so much. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> you think I'm gentle? Yeah. Hey, baby. What? Can you have the uh, shaving cream? I'm putting on my boots. Don't you think that's a little trampy for a Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm overbearing? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Hey, I was thinking. Maybe we should break up. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you think I'm not excited? Yeah. Do you think I could give you more in the bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think I could make more money? Mm, you kind of just suck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'd actually get the house? Do you think that you would uh, be able to handle the car payment? Uh, do you think that you could actually cook a fucking meal? <laughs> uh, no, uh, Stouffer's does not count. You like it. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I like it doesn't mean it counts. Well, if you like it, you shouldn't criticize. It's not a criticize, it's a complaint. Listen, John Gottman is a great therapist. He's helped me a lot. <laughs> Criticism is the, the problem. 97% of relationships break up because of criticism, but complaints, totally valid. <laughs> That's what we've been doing here. I'm sleeping with your brother. <laughs> uh, now I feel like you're flooding. Now I feel like you're telling me too much information to try to get an emotional rise out of me. And I'm going to keep my cool with this. And your father. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know he paints? <laughs> hey, no, oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's, no, come on, it's okay, come on, don't stop for you don't need these chairs, put that down, put that down, look oh. <laughs> what you think, <laughs> Okay. 
saying it's over? You're saying I did oh, something no, wrong? No, no, I'm saying it's not over. I'm saying it's not over. No, don't shrink. It's over. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't want to pay anything. <laughs> Again, just calm down. Um, I'm calm. The thing I, I've learned. I'm really calm. 20 years of rebuilding things in this city uh, is that uh, when you see an Airbnb like this, the person who did that is capable of a lot. <laughs> Who honestly rents a place on the internet from someone they never met without a terms and agreement clause and doesn't put down a down payment for maybe 45 a night and then goes in and totally dismantles the whole thing and defies thousands of years of morality and completely just edifies their own self absorbed behavior that might completely knock down and destroy a place, let alone set it on fire and take their fat ass into a wall and knock it down. I mean, who does that? I still don't appreciate you calling me a badass. <laughs> but I can tell you, I can tell you the entire story. Sheila. Is that a joint in a kazoo? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Of 
thinking about it. Um, but company policy prevents me from uh, getting you to say hello to my monster. I, I'm what? <laughs> I can't, there's only so many things I can say here. I just. <laughs> Saying hello to your monster is not one of them. <laughs> okay, look, I don't want to micromanage our kind of Daddy, office love affair. It's been going on for a while. What's been going on for a while? This. I walk by you, see your ponytail you, bounces. You, I, you hover. I, well, you linger. I stand over your shoulder. I catch a waft of the coffee breath. I feel your breath on the back of my neck. I walk by and bend down. I can tell what kind of deodorant you wear. <laughs> Listen, uh, that's my train. <laughs> Keurigs are so easy. 
that's beep popping and occurring over and over. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Sometimes I just let it run. I don't even put a cup there and then I leave. Janice comes in and she oh my freaks God. out. She always she freaks out. She always freaks out every time. I know. Every time. Yeah. At the company party, we were throwing a ball and it would go into the weeds and she would just go get it every time. So we just kept throwing it into the weeds every time. I leave all the lights on in the bathroom. Yeah. And she goes around and turns them all off. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. yeah. You know she has a learning disability? <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't give a shit. I just didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> This is really good! Yeah, yeah. Oh my like, god. Like, be yeah. careful. What do you mean? Just be careful. This is at work. If we see in the reflection of his eye on the screen, we go into the screen and we're shown a world that's overgrown. It looks like a major metropolis. Uh, standing in the middle of the road is one man holding a gun, looking out into the distance. Uh, the distance, it's, it's starting to get darker. The sun is coming down. Uh, the man is stern. He's a bit tattered. And he has a, a giant cross hanging down from his neck. Um, and you can see a little bit of blood splattered across his face. Uh, there's uh, another man leaned up against two cars, um, not wearing pants for some reason. <laughs> 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 Shelter, but like you don't want to take me in. Yeah, we mostly huddle in 